breaking travel news. Travel Talk with Phil Blizzard, talking to industry experts and decision makers. World Travel Awards 2015 in Morocco. People here from all over the globe. And I now have the pleasure of talking to the Minister of Tourism for the Maldives in the heart of the Indian Ocean. Delightful destination. So it's a pleasure to speak to Mr. Samir. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me here. It's December 2015, and we're going to jump ahead to next year, 2016, a very important year for Maldives because you have a very special focus, a special campaign. Tell us about this. Oh, yeah. We are, uh, 2016 is going to be the, um, the Maldives, visit Maldives here, and we have uh, very exciting programs uh, planned. Uh, over 55 uh, programs we started a uh, month or so ago, and then we, it's going to be till the end of 2016 and one of the main events that uh, we are going to do is going to be obviously having the grand finale of uh, World Travel Awards next year in the Maldives. That's going to be really, really, really good, an exciting year ahead and yeah, the grand finale will be the, the grand finale of the World Travel Awards World Series Tour. So looking at the 12 months or so, some very notable events within the travel and tours ministry. Uh, think of ITB, World Travel Market. Will you be involved in any of those? Oh yes, we are the host country. Uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are going to be the uh, sponsoring country for the ITB for uh, next year in Berlin. And uh, big uh, events are going to be there. We are going to be for the opening ceremony as well. And then uh, we are going to have uh, a lot of uh, resorts from the Maldives uh, travel uh, going to uh, Berlin and uh, do their displays and, you know, meeting all everybody all over the world and, you know, try to promote the events and uh, which are going to be scheduled after that. So uh, hopefully, I think that the biggest thing that is going to happen for us is going to be the Berlin Fair next, uh, next year. Very important market, uh, Berlin at uh, hosting the ITB. Europe's a very important market for you. I, I guess the, the Gulf countries are as well. This is where we are based. Which are the other key regions for you when it comes to attracting inward tourism to the Maldives? Well, uh, certainly Central Europe has been our main market and then uh, we have uh, growing uh, markets in China, in, uh, in the Middle East, yes, obviously. And uh, we are having uh, new diversified uh, products available uh, for the Middle Eastern market as well. But China has, uh, has shown us a tremendous growth, about 30% now, over 30% is now from the Chinese markets. Mm -hmm. And now within the Maldives, I mean, there are so many island resorts, so many atolls with hotel resorts. And I, I guess you have most of the major international hotel chains represented in, in, in the Maldives. Oh yes, we have got almost all the brands uh, in, in the Maldives right now. But uh, as, as you know, uh, we are able to uh, welcome almost about 1 to 1 1.5 million tourists uh, every year. But uh, these numbers are going to have a major jump in the next uh, three to, uh, f uh, two to three years because uh, there is going to be a major upgrade in the international airport. Uh, that is, uh, we are going to have a new runway and also a new uh, terminal facility which can accommodate uh, 7.5 million uh, tourist arrivals a year. So there is going to be, uh, I mean actually uh, the visit Maldives here in 2016 is just, you know, uh, the beginning of the exciting uh, two to three years which is going to come. We are, we are doing the foundations mm -hmm. next year. So visit Maldives next year is a starting point for a prolonged campaign. How will the Maldives sustain this large influx of tourists which you're aiming for? Well, actually, you know, uh, with, the, with the increased uh, capacity of the Mali International Airport, uh, Nasser International Airport, obviously, as it's called now, and then uh, we, have, we are b uh, developing a, a few more uh, regional uh, airports. Yeah. And also now, at the moment, we, we have the seaplane operations in the, uh, in the Mali Central area. But we are also going to have another uh, seaplane hub in the south in Addu. Addu International Airport has been uh, expanded. Uh, we, we have done a major renovation on the airport, as well as uh, the runway has been uh, extended. And <coughs> also in the north, we are going to have uh, uh, two, or two or three, I think it's going to be, in the next day, it's going to be two new uh, airstrips, which is going to uh, take uh, fixed fuel airplanes there. So, we are, so that's how uh, we, we, we are trying to expand. A lot of aviation development, and I must say the seaplanes, they are fantastic. The best way of taking off and landing is by a seaplane. It's brilliant. So tonight here at the World Travel Awards, uh, no doubt you're looking forward to the ceremony and moving ahead to 
well, end of next year, the end of your campaign, what can we expect for the World Travel Awards Gala finale in the Maldives? Actually, you know, at the moment, uh, we are, in, uh, we, we are uh, trying to select the best uh, venue for this event next year. We have got a few uh, interested uh, big hotel chains which are we, we, who has uh, approached us. So we probably will be uh, doing the finals in the uh, selecting uh, yeah, uh, sure. a resort maybe uh, early next year. But I think there is, it's really going to be big and it's going to be exciting and all the whole industry is going to be there. A marvellous destination for the grand final of the 2016 World Travel Awards at World Series. Minister, thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to being at the Maldives or in the Maldives next year. Breaking travel news from London, I'm Phil Blizzard.